His mercy and peace may be multiplied unto you. This is Apostle Elliot, and I wanted to take a moment of time to do a brief teaching on uh, a word that can also be a name. And the word that I'm referring to is Sodom. Uh, many are familiar in the Old Testament in the book of Genesis chapter 10, verse 19, as it mentions Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, as the scripture says, and the borders of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as thou comest to Gerar, which means the lodging place, and unto Gaza, which means the strong or the mighty, as thou goest unto Sodom and Gomorrah and Adma, which means red earth and Zeboim, which means gazelles, even unto Lasha, which is the term for breakthrough. So in that, as I bring this to your attention, uh, what we find is the word Sodom comes from Sodoma, which means burning or to scorch with intense heat or intense fire, which now we can get the connection when it came to Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, with fire raining down from the heavens or lightning or whatever it may have been articulated according to the scripture, uh, its name identified with what occurred. All right. Now, in that, I bring this to your attention regarding the term Sodom, because what's very uh, profound is it is also pronounced Saddam. Um, and so, for those of us who have been around for a while, even when it came to the individual, uh, the Arabic individual, Saddam Hussein, for instance, name is Saddam or Sodom, one and the same, which associates itself with the burning and the, and the scorching. Now, it is also theorized that some of the root of the name uh, is where we get sodomy from or to uh, sodomize, especially based upon what is considered in the culture as well as under the scripture when the men sought to know the angels. All right. Uh, so, so in that, I just bring that to your attention and thought this would be a very profound uh, word identity as well as name, which becomes a characteristic for some that may uh, find this name on individuals. And as I stated before, and I'll state again, when it comes to names, especially by the ancient cultures, they weren't just identities that were just uh, hung on people. They spoke to character of either expectation of what they were projected or expected to be, or it was a name later put on them due to something that they accomplished or didn't accomplish, which was associated with their character. So with that being said, I pray this has been a profound um, word of teaching regarding the term Sodom or Saddam. Uh, as it is acknowledged in the Old Testament as well as the New, because for some that are Bible readers, when you turn to Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, the scripture says, and their bodies, which talks about uh, uh, the witnesses for the Lord, their bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city or large citadel, which spiritually is called or is spiritually characterized as Sodom and Egypt. And once again, characterized as those who are of the burning, those who are to be scorched. Once again, in association with basically a terminology or a characteristic of a name associated with the consequences of judgment. So, so in saying that, once again, I pray this has been a profound revelation of teaching regarding this one terminology that we find in the Bible, both in the Old Testament and the New, and I pray that it assists you with your divine destiny in the Lord through Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone. And with that being said, amen, amen, and amen.